Yo, what's up, Todd? What's up, RC Mast Master? RC Mast Master, this this one's perfectly for you. Um, okay, so just winding down my day. Um, I'm out of the garage, and we're out here. We're inside now. We come inside, and uh, I have these RC bodies actually a few of them for this customer but this one here is a little special it's a little bit special this one um, so as you can see they've kind of done some modifications to this body to turn it into like a truck body right because it was obviously an SUV but they cut it out and then they've kind of like, you know, they've done their own modifications on this this red here right, that's paint from the inside I don't know what kind of paint doesn't really matter because now that they've done this we have to paint the body from the outside so we're just rolling with the punches here this is what they brought us um, and that's you know we're gonna do it uh, so this thing still has the protective liner on it even so we take that off start with that but I figured this would be a good way to try out how well Createx uh, will stick. Obviously, I already know Createx sticks to the Lexan really good. Um, but being that this is like a crawler style body, it's probably going to get a little scratched out. You know, it's not really going to get the same treatment as a, like a racer. You know, because racers get really banged up. This thing is going to kind of more like you know, tip over on a rock. You know, just slowly, and you know, maybe a few scratches, more lifelike. But yeah, we'll start off by taking this off. And we'll go from there. What's up, James Melton? Uh, what's up, Juan Carlos? What's up, Milan? <laughs> no, the body's not pink, not for you, bro. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna be painting it on the outside, like I said, because. They've done this, they've done the, this. This is like all glued. glued. You see how that's like glued? They glued it to turn it into a truck. Because it's not a truck body. I don't know what they're doing here. All I know is I got paint. And they gave me a color scheme. And we're going to try to do it as cool. As cool as I can. Gives me faith that that'll be smooth. At least. So yeah, this is one of those unusual projects. said to me I have no problem take the bird <laughs> take his pillow too and his shoes <laughs>
you can tell me what movie that's from. This is on the inside. This is rough right here. On the outside, I mean, I think we're going to be able to see that little line going across, but I don't think it's going to be nothing major. So we'll be good. What's up, Dennis? How's it going? Can you guys hear me pretty good? Am, am I. Can you check it, babe? <sighs> Hit it with Scotch Brights to rough it up a bit. Well, see, that, that was the same comment I got earlier. And uh, you guys have seen me use this pad a bunch of times. This is not Scotch-Brite. These, these are actually sanding pads. And uh, this is a 360 grit a mica scuff pad. So if you go down to your, your paint shops, they actually sell, these are actually sanding pads. You could sand a car with this. Um, but you know, a lot of people think it's, it's just Scotch-Brite, but it's not, it's kind of like really, if you sanded your dishes with this, they would be really dull after a while. But we are going to use this to scuff it up just a tad. The, the Createx data sheet says that you don't really have to scuff up the surface to apply the 4050. Um, but I think for, for good measure, we're just going to scuff it up and, and do it that way. So. All right, everything sounds good, cool. So let's go ahead and mask off the windows. Because, of course, we still want the windows to be clear. And he asked me actually if I could tint the windows. So, I don't know if we're going to do it in the video, but I plan to use some Createx black candy. Yes, there is a, such a thing as black candy to tint it real good, so. up a really light candy and we'll tint these windows up. And obviously the front window will probably just lay a tint coming off the top, you know, just like real windows I have. <coughs> but it'll look pretty cool.
and then we're going to tape off some of it and then we're going to come back and lay some pink and blue in some spots and then we're going to give it a black trim so it's going to have like three stage paint it's going to have a base coat a candy coat and then we're going to put a top coat but I'll probably put the top coat on outside obviously so I can use the bigger gun even though this is small, using a bigger gun makes it kind of come out nicer. So. Obviously we're masking the windows before we sand so we don't end up sanding off or getting that part scratched up because yeah, we don't want to want to keep those nice and clean. Obviously they already have glue on this part. There's only I can do about that. That's their own doing. At this point I think they're, they're trying to get me to save it, make it look decent, you know. So that's what we're doing. What's up, Eliza? Didn't know you wad on. You didn't know I was on. Um, I just came on a little while ago, man. You can see we're still masking, so we still haven't even started spraying or anything like that. So we're good. You are good, my friend. Masked up nice and easy. Nice and easy, like. Oh, what is that? Couple noodles. Mmm. <laughs> noodles. I thought about getting this for the next to the paint store, too. That was hot, remember? But I'll try it when I'm done. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me try one of those. All right. She made macaroons. I want to try this real quick. Ah, man. What a day. Oh, wow. It has chocolate and everything. So look at this. She made these. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's like an almond joy. It's like really good. Mmm. That's good. Okay. <laughs> what happened to the hand? Is that a cast? No. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you ain't part of the school squad, you don't really know, but 
we've taken in a couple cars to uh, airbrush and I've been sanding all morning all day morning and day and then I took breaks there and stuff but usually when I sand and stuff I try to keep this on um, and the compression helps my wrists uh, because otherwise I get you know from from sanding and putting pressure on it so much it gets like really uh, stiff and hurts if, if I try to like bend it too much so I try to like keep that on there and that helps and until I can afford to hire somebody to sand shit for me that's gonna be the case like anytime I have to wet sand something like we're talking about really big cars I have a truck and a Chrysler 300 so they don't sand themselves the joys of airbrushing bro everybody tells you yeah just start airbrushing it'll be fine airbrush my car blah 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 Three months in, there you are, sanding away on a car and going, when do I get to airbrush, bro? <laughs> I still wonder how, how those airbrush artists that only do like portraits, how do those guys make money, man? Like, how do they make real money? Like, if you have a job and you do it on the side, that's cool and all, but like that's not that's not realistic. Like you can't do that to make a living. But like if you're a portrait artist and you make enough to make a living, like how many portraits do you do a day? Man, today my arms are hurting. I've been sanding all day. I've gotta come inside, do this. And this is an order of three bodies, so this is just like one body we're getting done today. And then tomorrow, I have two other bodies that I have to do after another whole day of sanding. And that doesn't include like sanding on the house still, because yeah. But work, work is raining in right now. It's just like we went from having no work to being real nervous and this virus stuff. And now I have too much work, and if anybody else calls about a dang bike or a car or anything, they're going to be like, you got to wait. You got to get on the waiting list again. Which is good, but I hate when they tell people that. I usually like them going, I'm ready now. You bring it in today. Like, I got a car I'm working on, but that'll be out, and then you could be in. I'm not complaining and if anything I might I might add on to the giveaway mm -hmm. yeah if you want it done I guess yeah I mean there's customers that I don't know they don't care if they have to wait there's other people though that try to make it like it's my problem. Car shows next month, bro. I need my car back like today. That ain't my problem, man. I also worked on buffing my car. These last few days. And it ain't exactly perfect. But I think I did a pretty good job on my car. It looks pretty nice. What up Dan Grove? How's it going? It's definitely ready for the shows now. all scuffed up. I 
That's cool, man. Working's good. I try to do the stream a little later today, maybe catch everybody off work. It's six o'clock here. I don't know where, what time it is where you are. But... I thought six o'clock would be like a good in between time so everybody catch it. Come catch these hot ones. somewhere right or is it west coast I don't know the, I don't know the time zone right now cool what did I do What's up, Neil Boston? 5 p.m. in California. Pittsburgh is East Coast. And almost 1 in the morning, wherever the hell Neil is. What is that, like Australia? Where are you at? Seven o'clock in Iowa, in the UK. Nice. Very nice, UK. Just gonna put some gloves on so I get paint all over all my hands. Thank you. 
You need your music when you paint? Yeah. Can you guys hear them? You guys should be able to hear the music, right? Yeah. I was going to say it was a little loud, but oh. we were like, okay, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Let me just turn it down a little bit. This still seems really loud, but I think it's... Is it not... Sounds good? Okay, cool. All right, I think, yeah, okay. We always worry about the sound, man. So the amount of comments that we used to get that were like, yo, the music's too loud. Yo, the music's too low. Yo, you shouldn't have music. Yo, we can't hear your voice. Yo, your your voice is way too loud. Like, <laughs> so I got some white cereal here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start laying in the white cereal on the bottom. And obviously, I want to put white sealer first. We want to get a max adhesion with our paint, but we also want it to be not see through, right? So, laying down the white sealer gives us a good base, especially when we lay down the white pearl, which is really transparent. So make sure we get a nice coverage with our sealer here. in that line I'm talking about. He said he was well aware that I was going to show and he was okay with it. So. Should have opened the window. <laughs> Sorry. Just made sure to get some ventilation going so that we clear out this stuff.
Yo, yo, what's up, Fish in the Backwoods? Uh, do you thin the sealer at all? No. You can. It says you can reduce it 10%. But honestly, it works really good straight out of the bottle. It dries up nice and quick. And reducing it increases the flash time, so I'm not trying to wait around. Be wet. Okay. Most of this stuff's dry already. Just make sure I get all the coverage. What's up, mole? Everyone's neighbors are acting crazy lately. What happened? What are your neighbors doing, bro? Let me tell me the story. Two coats. It's all good, nice and dry. With that finish drying up, we're gonna rinse out here our color. Sealer. seen your neighbors in weeks does your airbrush make a lot of smell or paint dust um, just depends on how you're spraying uh, but like I said I just opened some windows up so we can get a draft going and I turned a fan on so it all depends on what you're spraying my guy for something like this where I was just spraying the sealer it was kind of making a little bit of overspray so that's why I opened the windows up. So we give that a second to dry. Pretty good. In the meantime, we are going to take some 4052, my favorite, some illustration white. I 
found 6,000 worked well on like some when I thinned it a bit, but needed extra coats. 6,000? What is 6,000? They are arguing, fighting each other over big cuts in the courtyard. It sounds like they are wrestling or something. Big over sick butts in the courtyard. Oh shit! All day you're running and slamming and banging, huh? That's funny, dude. I don't know. That's crazy. It's funny, crazy. I don't know what to say. Right, so we're gonna make sure our airbrush kind of cleared out there. Take some 45 to 2. And we're gonna mix up quite a bit of this. So wanna, here's our white base coat. This is the primer, then we're gonna lay some white. Some white. I'm trying to make give myself a nice bright base for the pearl white and then you know the candy colors that are gonna go over. So here again we're just mixing up the 4052 with illustration white white to be quite light, like all the way light, so we're going to make sure it's all the way light.
Okay. I think that's pretty good. It's really white. It's not see-through at all anymore. So that's as white as it's going to get. It's flat. <laughs> now you're going to have a <laughs> hot cake in my head. What's up, Rob Martin? How's it going? So again, we're just going to flush this out right here. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're gonna, if you need to use, I guess. The, I mean, they have red, blue, yellow, white, transparent. But I guess if you needed like green sealer, or, like gray sealer, or whatever color, you can just make your own. It makes sense. And this is this is a one-off thing because like I don't. Usually Lexan bodies get painted from the outside, from the inside. This is kind of a special case. Um, so yeah. Next though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more of this 4052. Pearl White, we're going to mix it up together here in this little container. We're going to shake it up really good. <laughs> and add CreateX has really changed the game on me with telling me about these secrets with the, with the clear and stuff and then the candies, like my whole my whole shebang has has changed. <laughs> Is that what he says? Like now, nah, if you both join us in the study, we're gonna be having some white cake, some white. The guy's not worried it will chip, crack, crack, or bouncing off of stuff while driving it. Well, this is a crawler body, so. Crawlers don't go very fast, and uh, from what I understand, they kind of get treated like real-life trucks, so they don't like they don't smash them and, and st stuff like that. You know. Yeah, I mean, Lexan from the inside or the outside is going to end up being about the same. It's really super duper smooth. Um, the thing about the inside is that you don't ever have to worry about it getting scratched or damaged because they, all the damage happened on the outside. But something like this, it's a little different. So you want to make sure you get max adhesion because if somebody nicks it or something like that, you don't want it to just like a whole bunch of paint to flake off or something. You know? but, you, know. you went white and white pearl. Uh, so we laid white sealer. Then we laid basically a white base, you know, opaque white to make it as white as white and make sure there's no transparent spots. And now we're gonna lay white pearl. Right? We're gonna give it a second to dry and then we're gonna do uh, blue over it, the candy blue. And then we'll see where we're at. The guy said he wants like black trim but uh, we'll see where we're at. We're after the blue, and yes, yeah, it looks like uh, move from there. So for now, we're doing this. White pearl. Just start kind of coating it. Thank you. 
Yeah, you could still roll it with crawling. That's why we're doing the sealer and all that stuff. Like I said, that way if, if he does hit it, it'll get a scratch instead of like a big, you know, chunk coming off or anything like that. There's, if you look at RC crawlers, if you've ever done any kind of RCing, um, look them up and then you'll understand what I'm saying. They get treated like real vehicles. They don't get treated like toys. So people don't roll them all the time. And the whole objective is to actually keep it from rolling. And there are like rock crawler RCs, but this is not that. This is a scale, like, um, what is they, what are they called? And to be quite honest with you, like these bodies are usually hard. Like they're usually hard bodies. It's a scale crawler, so they, but it's not like a rock bouncer or anything like that. So it doesn't get damaged. People take good care of these. Oh yeah, mix up just enough to cover up from the white pearl. Pretty good coverage of that pearl. Looks pretty good to me. Let's give that a second to dry. Rinse out the airbrush. Ron Chorus. We mix the pearl white with 4052 and reduced it just a tad. You're gonna try to paint yours on the outside and see how it goes. You have a crawler too? I wouldn't recommend it for like a normal RC. Like I said, the whole benefit of a Lexan body usually is that you paint it from the inside and then if it gets scratched, you flip it or whatever, you know, um, the Lexan takes, you know, the Lexan is really sturdy for scratches and stuff like that. So usually the benefit of a Lexan body is painting it from the inside. Like I explained in the beginning, this one has obviously had modifications and stuff uh, done to it from the inside. So we can't paint it from the inside. So everybody has to get their input in. But it's like we can't. There's no way. There's no way. Right on, Neil Boston. Have a good night, man. fifth scale body buggy yeah, I wouldn't paint that on the outside that's probably gonna get damaged right away dude that's a huge that's a huge RC for one and yeah you probably like that's like a shredding type of RC okay so we're just gonna give that a second to dry up really good The guy said he wanted like a navy blue, so we're doing marine blue candy. Uh, once we are able to put some paint, some tape down, uh, we'll get that all in there. And it's basically going to be two tone. The whole top is going to be blue, and then. The the sides are going to be white and then these this like fender flare style thing going here that's going to be black uh, i haven't decided if i'm going to do like a candy black over that or if i'm just going to use black black i haven't decided so right on we're on chorus i'm glad my videos helped
You don't understand me so good? Speak a little louder. See, that's what I was asking. You guys don't be telling me, man. Here, I'll just turn the music down a little bit. How's that? That way uh, you can hear me a little better. I'm just trying to make sure that this is nice and shook up. I'm also trying to stall for time so that this can dry a little bit. Make sure it's dry like everywhere. It's not quite all the way dry. Give it some air. Yeah, it's gonna be cool to see it done this way. And then at the very end, right, once it's all done, I'm gonna take it outside and then we're gonna lay the 4050 gloss uh, from Createx over it. I'm working on getting the garage set up uh, for streaming so that you, we could actually go through the whole project. Like, you know, I could do the airbrushing and then you guys could see me lay the gloss and then we can look at the whole finished product at the end together. Uh, Cause I obviously can't spray gloss in here and have this whole thing all sprayed out so we're working on a more permanent solution outside um and we'll be moving this whole set in the studio out there so that we could really do some some crazy stuff right now the garage has these projects in it though so we're trying to get those projects finished up and then we'll We'll proceed with the rest of the stuff there. Just let that dry up for a sec. Yeah, that minigun will help a lot, you know, like the whole, when we lay the sealer in, it'll be a lot faster with the minigun, and then laying the gloss coat over is going to be a lot faster with the minigun, I mean, that's just how I do it is with the minigun, I'm not about to try to lay gloss with the, with the little gun, because it just, it doesn't work very well that way, so... Pretty good. This side looks pretty much dry. Okay. Let's do a tape check. Tape check. Make sure it's sticking. It's sticking. sizes in the talon I think it's the, the talon has a weird needle it's like a point three or something like that yeah we can't get no cloud formations in here bro which is kind of good you know but at the same time it's limiting because if we were doing clouds we could do big stuff
Uh, thank you, lady. Lady like 09. I'm not really I'm not really teaching anything today, but you know, thank you. You're probably talking about my other videos. Before we spray this blue, I'll make sure to run the giveaway for everybody. Make sure you guys are all signed up. I see some new people in the chat I've never seen before. So if it's your first time watching, if you're new around here, if you haven't watched all the videos or the, the latest streams, you know, we're having a giveaway going right now. Giveaway is for an Iwata Revolution airbrush. Uh, I want a Createx paint set uh, that's provided by Createx. Again, you see the logo up here. Createx is sponsoring the Mike's Brush Airbrush Care Package giveaway. Oh man, that's a lot to say. Uh, but they're helping us out. They're going to send you guys some paint. One lucky winner. We'll get the airbrush, the paint, two of my stencil sets. Uh, we have a Spider-Man painting that's over there. Um, some hats, some paper, like pretty much everything you need to get started airbrushing and practice and everything. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's it's actually a really nice package. If I would have got that, you know, starting out, it could, it's, it really is a game changer package, like for the right person. It could be the difference between not being an airbrush artist and becoming an airbrush artist. So. And that count, that giveaway is running until June. And depending depending on how well the giveaway goes, um, we might be doing another one right after that one ends. Just so that we could keep you know, keep hooking you guys up, man. We'll see though. We'll see. So far, I mean, if we could get Createx on board and other companies, then it might be a possibility. But for now, let's just count on this one. Get this one nice and over with. And then we'll talk. And then we'll talk, me and you. Yeah, on June 10th. So here, I'll go ahead and play it for you guys right now so you guys can get all signed up. Um, yeah. So here it is, guys. The Mike's Brush Care Package Giveaway. So in this care package, we're gonna be sending out to one lucky winner. We're gonna include an Iwata Revolution, CR, and the Createx, primary colors, a two ounce set. We're also gonna include two of your choice of the Mike's Brush stencil sets. We're gonna include two snapback hats so that you can customize. We're also gonna include five sheets of both black and white cardstock paper so that once you get good with your airbrush you have something to paint on and last but not least I'm going to include one of my spider-man paintings right here so you have something to hang on your wall to give you some inspiration when you're practicing so thank you guys again all for watching enjoy the rest of this video this live stream make sure you check that link in the live chat or down below depending on when you're watching this video down in the description you'll find the link to the giveaway it runs until june 10th and on june 11th i'll announce the winner they have 24 hours to reply or we'll keep selecting one until one of you replies anyway guys enjoy the rest of the video we'll catch you guys on the next one thanks All right, so again, make sure you guys go drop Createx some love. Go check out their channel. Go subscribe. Go check out their Instagram. 
go and say thanks you know for helping out with the giveaway and uh yeah again thank you guys all for helping the channel make it this far and it's just a way of giving back to you guys so Takes a few coats of candy to get full max uh, coverage, color depth. So we're probably going to go through just a little bit of this blue here. Honestly, even this would have been a lot easier with the minigun.
And we're going to go back and give it another coat too. I'm just kind of giving it a good nice wet coat. And then we'll go back and once that coat dries we'll give it another coat. Make sure it's nice and even. Yeah, Createx has a lot of nice colors. No matter what you're painting, they probably have something that you'd be like, ooh, that's pretty. Some of you guys are probably thinking, why didn't you just paint it metallic blue on the top? So I could have. I could have taken the easy way out. I just put metallic blue. Or pearl blue. But honestly, the, the candy paint has this like cool effect that you just can't get with uh, metallics. Metallics get pretty close. Pearl paints get pretty close, but when you put that candy over a pearl paint, it just, man, the, the way the color shifts from light to dark, how bright it can get with a spotlight, you know, when you put some lights on it. You just can't, you can't get that out of the metallic. And metallic has its limits. <laughs> It's like candy, baby. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it really is like candy, especially when you put the gloss. When you put the gloss over it and you start shining lights on it, you're just like, oh, man, that looks really nice. And you can see that pearl under there, underneath all them, all that color, you know, you see the, the, the shimmering coming back. And it looks so deep and nice. That's kind of why I'm trying to get the garage going and be able to show you guys the finished product. Because right now we get it, right now we get it about 90% of the way, and then it's like, all right, I'm gonna go lay the clear. Y'all watch me on Instagram now. Make sure you check it out. <laughs> Which is fine. Some people do that, you know. Not everybody. So. Trying to make sure the coverage is nice and even. 
Now we don't have any light spots, right? Which I could see already some. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay another another layer over everything. Let's make sure we get all nice and that marine blue. What's up, RC Roo? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. This is your territory right here, dude. As you can see we're doing it from the outside. You probably understand this, what's happening here more than I do. He chopped this up, turned it into a truck. I don't know if you see that a lot or not. Couple, a lot of light spots, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit these little spots until we got it nice and all dark blue. We want that darker, dark blue. The darker, darker. See, and I actually think that's the candy fucking one because the the. Those bright spots, I'm pretty sure, are just the bright spots because of the way the light's hitting it.
go. I really don't think it's going to get any more blue. Very nice. Shoot, that looks good just like that. Just the pearl white with that candy blue. I close my nose. Close your nose? Uh-huh. So let me see if I can show you. See how that blue, it really comes out like. Yeah, make you, yeah, it's the paint tinkle that make me think I got light spots, but it actually, it's a really deep color. It looks nice when you twirl it around like that. You can see the, you know, the bright spots really come out. On the camera, it looks really dark, but in person, it's, it's kind of light. So, cool. again, we're just going to let that dry for a second. And he wants all these black, right? This edge black. I like it white, but he wants it black. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, look at James Melton and Dennis busted out that new Createx colors emoji. You guys like that? That's dope. Make sure you guys go and let them know that we got a new emoji that's their thing. I haven't even told them, bro. I haven't told them I made that. <laughs> but we took on uh, two new members. So the channel has 11 members now, which allowed us to open up a new emoji. And I was just sitting here and I was like, man, what can I make a new emoji out of? And I was just like, oh, you know what? I know exactly. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> 
Right on. <laughs> James, my wife thinks you're just gonna send stuff now. She's like, I need Lysol spray. Tell James. <laughs> cool, so let's put that candy up there. Get this trash out of the way. Over there. And, um, okay. Man, we gotta do what the customer wants, man. I can't just, like, be, no, I like it that way. No, let's do the black how he wants it and get it ready to go outside. Again, let's just give it a second to dry. Let's maybe use some of this tape that I've already kind of used over here. Good job. Good job, Mr. Guy. Good thing it's dry, mostly. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. What am I going to do here? <laughs> he said, how many you need? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll pay him back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they don't Somebody sell it here. Somebody stole mine at work. These fucking people. Somebody stole it at work. Right. On something like this, even the smallest things will annoy me. Yeah, James, she said she'll literally pay you. <laughs> she just can't find it. Cool. So, the goal is here is to have this kind of sit on that paper towel. Lowe's had it, huh? People will be out here low-key coronavirus scared. Because people will be walking around with no mask, but you can't find any disinfectant anywhere. <laughs> Nothing like that, so. All right, I think... I think these gloves serve their purpose. Oh, when we went to freaking get the, the bulk for your camera, mm -hmm. they were counting people. I went to Home Depot. Uh -huh. We had to wait outside the store until four people, three people left the store. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Better than Lowe's. When I walked in, there was just like people. I know. I'm like, I wonder what the count is for <laughs> Rob Martin said that they finally got some bleach out there that he could send some bleach in. <laughs> Dennis said that he's seen people line up in shitty weather for the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Waited for you to leave.
Dollar stores are not that serious. Yeah, I guess not, man. They really aren't, but people will be people, I guess. And this is about the hardest part of doing this body is that we gotta mask off the whole body just to do the fenders. So me and the guy at the paint store were actually having a conversation about this. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a serious disconnect. Yeah, this is the first of the three. saying me and the pink guy got into the disconnect about how people you know ask for something and it sounds so easy when it rolls off the tongue I just want my wheels you know an accent on my wheels painted right. that was the example we were using and then they didn't realize that you have to like a either take the wheels off the car or B mask off everything and in most cases both like you have to take the wheels off then you have to completely mask the wheels to to just paint the areas where you want to lay paint and it's a pain in the butt and people people don't see that you know they just oh my wheels are painted <laughs> well but, She's over here laughing at me. The local pawn shop is like a revolving door all day. What do you mean? <laughs> Steven Ward, the shitty neighborhood you live in. People are lined up for the drug dealer's house, huh? Man, I know. I've lived in rough areas too. It's, it, it sucks, my guy. I don't know what you know about Pueblo, but this place kind of has its own. Like, it's the black child of Colorado. We do our own thing. Yeah. The one fender mask. Look at that. The, the one fender has masking on it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. How nice. with your bud guy how he delivers yeah you can imagine nowadays with, with what's going on that's probably the only way he's gonna make money man he has to deliver actual weed stores and those are considered essential man those have been open and cranking out all the weed you want the liquor stores are kind of open. huh liquor stores should not even be open yeah you can get your beer at 7 now <laughs> this is true And 
And for those of you who might be wondering why I'm doing it this way, one piece of tape at a time, is because I don't want to cut on this from the outside and leave a big old crease for when I lay the top coat. Give me another one. Those are really good. These things she made are called macaroons. Huh? Coconut macaroons. I never had a macaroon in my life, but I believe. I am a believer in the macaroons now. And if anybody ever asks me if I want a macaroon, I'll be like, hell yeah, I'll take I'll be take two of those with chocolate. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing is, looks so delicious. It looks like it came from the store. She didn't even make them, huh? She's lying. She didn't make them. not drizzled they're like covered in chocolate the celebrities doing zoom reunions huh yeah I don't know celebrities gonna do celebrity stuff man Sounds like a celebrity thing. Yeah, we got that side masked off. Whoa, ho, ho. Watch out now. Watch out now. We're, we're getting into to professional airbrush territory. Whoa, ho, ho. <laughs> she makes fun of the sound effects I make when I'm streaming. That's going black. Yeah, I'll do your hair after this one, baby. I'm almost done. I'm just gonna do this black one. Like oh yeah, you guys don't even know. I do like the best fucking hair. I've got lots of fucking practice. My wife uses me as her personal fucking salon at this point. She's just like, yo, you're gonna do my hair today at 5.30. I'm just like, all right, cool. I'll make sure to be done. <laughs> masking the inside is harder for me. Yeah, masking the inside is hard for sure. I just hate, I don't really hate stuff like this, but it's just, this is like the worst kind of masking. Where it's just like, oh man, you just gotta lay piece by piece by piece. Most of the time inside, you can just lay masking, you can cut it up, you don't have to worry so much about the edges, you know, you're just going to paint over the whole thing. This one, got to be a little more, a little more careful with it. Do you airbrush hair? <laughs> I should, huh? I should start learning how to apply that hair color with, yo, I'm going to get in touch with Createx and be like, yo, 
We need to make some Createx hair dye. Oh my god, we have too much fun. Up. Yo, how sick would that be though for parties and stuff? Just like show up, I could just spray it and then spray color into your hair. Or like for Halloween, you know how people buy all... Dude, that's like a whole market that's untapped right there. Because they sell the dang, you know, paint your hair bottles. But if they sold actual paint, like body painters rejoice, son. Because then you'd be able to body paint and then be like, Oh, we got the special paint for your hair too, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're giving Stephen Ward cookies over there? He's got to email him a macaroon. That's the best I can do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I searched through the Stephen Ward pictures and found a cookie. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way you could make it. I know it made my wife just look at me with the most deer in headlights things. He's, she's spray on color. <gasps> yeah! Because my hair is always ridiculous, so. Hey Mike, doesn't this heat up, sun heat up all the bottles above? The, the sun, bro? What? What are you talking about, man? The sun coming through the window is going to mess up the paint. Probably not, my guy. The, the windows are like on that wall way over there. And yeah. And it's actually dark and gloomy outside. And we have pro professional photography lights. And that's why this area is really nice and lit. Um, yeah, streaming is a lot more than just put up your webcam and go, my guy. There's been a lot of thought put into this this whole production here. I know it seems kind of amateur, but there's a lot going on. Like, just just think about what you're watching and put it all together in your head. Know that there's two cameras, so that should let you right oh, know why right away we're not streaming off a phone. or a tablet or anything like that. What's up, Todd? Welcome back. Well, I don't know about 12. But there are some soft lights around me. Um, and it's the only way that you guys could actually see um, most of the colors. Because, yeah. I don't know what you guys know about just having regular lights. But regular lights create a ton of glares, which we actually fought with here on the channel. And, like, showing you guys silver or pearl was the worst idea I could have because it just looked like a big bright white spot whenever I tried to do that as well as the camera would have a lot of hard time adjusting sometimes to colors thank you Stephen Ward it means a lot we've been trying I've been trying to reinvest back into the channel the channel has grown to the point where it allows me to reinvest back into the channel 
Like I've said multiple times, I love you guys, but I'm not going to like spend all my extra money on like YouTube because it doesn't really make me all that much money. But I do find it fun to do. I like chatting with you guys, obviously. And yeah, I feel like if I'm not out here showing you guys how to airbrush right, and doing it for free, the free part is very important because there is a million and one artists out there that are looking to charge you for information. So, a big part of the channel is just having open information out there. You guys come in here, you ask me a question, I try to do my best to answer it. The sun question was a little weird, but we answered it. You know, and uh, we try to do that for everybody that comes in, you know. Again, if you want to support the channel, we have different ways you can support the channel. And, you know, supporting the channel in any kind of way helps bring you guys contests, you know, giveaways, you know, more videos, how-to videos, all that good stuff. So, yeah. No, Steven Ward's not part of the Skull Squad. He's just been around for a while. Babe, can you do me a favor? No. Oh man. Where do you want it? I need tape. Where? It's outside. In the garage. I just bought a ton of rolls today. Okay. I don't have any other tape in here, otherwise I wouldn't even ask. Alright, there's no other tape rolls now. Sweet, sweet. That, that tape roll is gone. Oh, man. Oh, but anyway, while we're sitting here, let's mix up the black. So I'm going to dump out the candy blue here, flush it out. Yeah, I know you guys don't watch my videos for giveaways. I just, you know, that's me wanting to give back to you guys. But, like, honestly, I don't know how else to give back to you guys other than making how-to videos and, like, making one of y'all lucky. And if we make one of y'all lucky maybe once every two months, once every three months or something, we do a giveaway three times a year or something like that. I'll be honest, I feel a little guilty, bro, that I get to sit here, I get to be like, yo, I'm the airbrush artist, blah, 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 listen to me, and y'all listen, and y'all are really cool about it and everything, and I make money, you know what I'm saying? I found this one. Oh, okay, that'll work. Oh, yeah, they're on the other side of the car. Uh-huh. I, I forgot to tell oh, you that. I know, I Bunch of tape. I don't know where you put it. So yeah, like I don't know. It's not guilty. I just feel like I should I should give back to you guys. That's the best way I could put it. Oh I grab his clothes. Steven Ward said he'll eventually join I Don't Hate. <laughs> I'm a hater, don't start my husband tell you. <laughs> uh, You convinced this is the Matrix sees a simulation? <laughs> oh my god, you guys are funny, bro. <laughs> yeah, I guess. If you're looking to do vids, man, good luck. That's all I can say. If you're looking... I don't know, bro. I don't know... I, I gotta be careful with how I phrase this. There's a lot of people that make videos thinking that somehow it's gonna bring them more work or build up fame. Fame. Um, and I wouldn't do that 
that's probably all I'll, <laughs> all I'll say about that. Like, if you don't make the videos because you like making videos and, and because you like airbrushing, you have to like both, right? Because once you start making videos, you'll realize that there's a lot more to making videos than just standing in front of the camera and talking, right? Like, you got to be good at talking, for one. Two, you got to know what you're going to say. Three, like I said, it's not just about standing in there and talking. You're going to, like, what are you going to talk about? What are you doing? You know? So, I don't know. And if you're doing it just for, like, thinking you're going to make money or you're going to, like, somehow get work, um, you know, just, just know you have a very steep cliff to climb because to get to your YouTube channel to the point where it makes money is like, bro, like, I don't even know. It's hard. I've never spent a dime on like promotion, boosting my channel, anything like that, paid subscribers or anything like that. I know people who have, I know people that do. And yeah, their channels may get more views and all that, but I think it's it's simulated, right? Like you, you're getting all the views, but nobody actually is there watching you. You know what I'm saying? It's a, you know, it's that double-edged sword where if you want somebody to actually pay attention, you gotta build it up, right? Like all you guys there in the chat, some of you guys have been around for a while and even when new people come in those new people coming in kind of understand that that you know this has been going for a minute you know? and when you start your channel and you think that you're just gonna blow up and some guys it's quite obvious you know they, they try to make it as professional as possible and, and you know all the production values and you could tell they're using a really good camera and you know they're trying everything they can to make the best YouTube video but then you know either the artwork that they've done or the project or whatever you know it's not it's not always the best and that's not how YouTube works you know people don't YouTube doesn't really reward um, how your video looks you know, that's the people that watch your videos they're gonna they're gonna come in and then they're gonna start telling you like hey you know good video but like if the quality was better blah 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 that's kind of how I've been kind of going about it but if you if you try to start at the top you're gonna end up a probably running yourself into debt because a lot of that stuff costs a lot of money right so yeah if, if you want to take out a loan buy yourself an expensive four thousand dollar camera do all the videos but then you don't have any airbrush work so right so everything you're painting is for the camera um, eventually you're gonna want to make money and YouTube ads don't make money um, so yeah like it, it, there's there's a whole lot more than to just I'm just gonna stand in front of the camera. It's like you better like it. You better like being in front of that camera all the time. Like you guys see me, I'm streaming every day. Whether there's one person in the chat or there's 20 people in the chat or five people, it don't matter. I'm here. I'm painting, and I'm not just painting because you guys are watching. I have to get this done. Like this is an order. You know, this customer is waiting for this to get back to him. So I have to paint and have you guys there. It's just like an extra icing on the cake, you know. But if you don't have this and you think that you're just going to be doing painting after painting, it's going to be hard. I've seen it work I've seen artists that do they come in but you have to be really talented or you have to be really good at hiding the fact that you're not that talented 
So I'm not gonna name any names, but I've seen a couple of artists that fake it till you make it, bro. They started off with their channel and they started off just by doing certain kind of paintings. And now they kind of got those commissions coming in, kinda. But then they're starting to realize that, you know, what they want to paint and what people want them to paint are two different things, bro. So, I see those channels, you know, and they start out strong doing this, that, and then all of a sudden it's like a week goes by without no video. And then all of a sudden they'll put a video and it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then here goes another month, no videos. tell you no I'm gonna say ah you're just trying to copy me because that's not true there's lots of people airbrushing on YouTube everybody has their own little thing right you don't have to watch me you can watch somebody else you can watch both of us you can watch all five of us I don't care you can have three 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 different streams going at once on your computer it don't really matter just know that if you are gonna be one of the people that's gonna try to stream make sure you like it You ain't gonna use your DSLR, you would just use your phone. Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of the whole thing right now is everybody looks at Twitch, right? Twitch, and everybody wants to make money on Twitch. Like all the kids at least. And I don't know, bro. I hate to, I'm the one that I hate to tell people it's impossible, right? But at the same time, know that if you want to do it it's probably going to be impossible go in with the expectation that it's going to be impossible um oscar lopez we're using the pache talon today for most of this it's just the one i picked up man i could have used any airbrush really but that's just the one i was like oh i'll just use this one why not that and if you're also gonna be on youtube get ready for all the shit talking ever bro people are gonna come at you left right sideways telling you how to do stuff you best believe i've seen videos on what's his name the fucking chip foos right he designs vehicles and I see comments on his videos where it's like, you should have done it this way. And it's just like, bro, you're going to tell Ship, Chip Foose how he should design vehicles. Like, that's not how that works, bro. If you want to be Chip Foose, you got to design vehicles and get famous for it. Like, that's not how that, like, you know. YouTube, sometimes, like, I love you guys, but sometimes the comments... And the people on YouTube, I don't know, man. It makes me question myself as a human. Sometimes, some of the questions you're just like, really? Is that, is that guy for real or, or, or am I being trolled? Also, the trolling on YouTube. Mwah, the trolling, Mwah, you guys, Mwah, the trolling, sarcasm on another level. Mwah. <laughs> you get that on Facebook, yeah. <laughs> YouTube pays you to weed out the week. <laughs> softly on the floor. Oh, look at that. What? what? How did that break? Uh -oh. What? When did that happen? 
It broke. The stand. Yeah. No, the old one. The plastic broke off of there. That's weird. Try to put it back on that broken spot. Jeez. <laughs> As if they only paint, but they only paint one way. Yeah, like, bro. It's like this project, right? If somebody came to you with this, what am I gonna say? Nah, bro. I only do Lexan bodies from the inside. It's like, nah, man. This is what landed. I have to be like, ah, oh, well, you know. Even if I've never done it before, I'd have been like, you know, we could try it. I have the materials to do it. Why not? Let's try it. Oh, look, at my, look at my grubby little fingers. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know, bro. I've said it lots of times how I trip out on artists that are specializing in shoes or specialize in portraits or I'm not saying you can't it's probably gonna be hard the commenters though are the best because it's like I like it when they start off with I don't know how to do this but you should have done it like that and this bro what do you mean Yeah, and then, I haven't seen, um, what's his name in a long time? Easy Airbrush. No, we seen him the other day. I haven't seen him today. But Easy Airbrush, uh, he figured out the very first thing, uh, right? He tried to live stream and stuff. And again, I went and checked it out. And he's a pretty good airbrush artist, but <laughs> how, like not even halfway into the stream, like, 15 minutes into his stream, 20 minutes, he goes, oh man, I'm starting to start going over my data cap, guys. <laughs> it's like, yeah, make sure you also have, like, the internet and stuff to stream. <laughs> I remember watching that, that stuck in my head, like, my data cap. Yeah, that's usually what it is, man, it's some guy that's... He watched somebody else's video, comes into my video and goes, hey man, but I, this is how you do it. And it's just like, yeah, you could do it that way, but you could also do it the way I'm doing it, man. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it looked better without the black trim. The black just kind of makes it look... I don't know. That's what the customer wanted. Why didn't you use the overspray film on the outside of the body as a mask instead of the tape? Uh, you must have missed the whole part where we laid sealer over the whole t outside of the car. I can't lay sealer with the overspray mask on it, Miss my guy. See, th that's like that's that's one of those comments that I'm just like, 
Did you not pay attention? <laughs> you should have done that instead. Hmm, you should have done that instead and just not used the sealer. Bro, you, for, you forgot we put sealer on it and it has to have sealer because we're painting it on the outside. Ah, yeah, I was only messing. Troll. Troll. Ah, <laughs> uh, see here. <laughs> they both foil onto the car. They think they could drive. Formula One. Oh, the wood grain. Uh, I don't know about the wood grain, my guy. I think the white looks pretty good. The wood grain on the outside of the body is just not going to look so good because once we put the, the top coat on it, you're going to be able to see that grain on there. And it's not, it's not going to look. It's not going to look so nice. So. Uh, I would peel the window, but I got to go put clear on it. So I that would. I would have to remask the window. I, I don't. I under. I. I know. I know, bro. This is the whole point of getting the garage set up is so that we could, and then I could go outside, spray the top coat, then we could lay, the, you know, take the windows off, and then I could show you the whole shiny body, and you'd really get the full effect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, like we can't, I, yeah. I'm not gonna unmask the windows to remask them. Again. <laughs> You're not trying to be a troll? <laughs> Todd, you don't have to try. You just are, bro. You just. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, Rob. Uh, but yeah, I think we've gone on long enough today. I'll go ahead and shoot the clear on this guy. And yeah, that'll pretty much be that. I honestly, that turned out okay. This whole shebang here. And it turned out a little better than I thought with all that work they did. Then the inside. <laughs> the inside leaves a lot to be desired, but the outside looks pretty good. White to navy? What do you mean white to navy? We got the white and then we got the blue, the navy blue. Two tone, what you said, and you got the black fenders. Pretty much. How long will it take for a clear coat? It takes about five minutes, bro. Your own bridge where you spout rhyme riddles for safe passage. <laughs> no. What? No. Oh, bending the quarter panel. Restart. <laughs> you guys are funny. Alright. I'm gonna get out of you guys' hair and enjoy the rest of my night. Let my arms rest. Um, hopefully you guys like this stream. And yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one. Again, I'll play the giveaway stuff again. Make sure you guys all go get signed up for the giveaway. And yeah, I don't know what else to say besides thanks for watching. Go like, subscribe, become a member of the Skull Squad below. Um, all right. Over there, down that way. Go over there, down below the video. There's a join button. <laughs> Paint the white part to navy. Why would I do that? They just left the whole white. The white looks good. No, man. You, you, no, it looks good. Or oh, you mean the inside? No, I'm not painting the inside, bro. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> See you guys, have a good night. So here it is guys, the Mike's Brush Care Package Giveaway. 
So in this pet care package, we're gonna be sending out to one lucky winner. We're gonna include an iWater Revolution, CR, and the Createx primary colors, a two ounce set. We're also gonna include two of your choice of the Mike's Brush stencil sets. We're gonna include two snapback hats so that you can customize. We're also gonna include five sheets of both black and white cardstock paper so that once you get good with your airbrush, you have something to paint on. And last but not least, I'm gonna include one of my Spider-Man paintings right here. So you have something to hang on your wall to give you some inspiration when you're practicing. So thank you guys again all for watching. Enjoy the rest of this video, this live stream. Make sure you check that link in the live chat or down below, depending on when you're watching this video. Down in the description, you'll find the link to the giveaway. It runs until June 10th, and on June 11th, I'll announce the winner. They have 24 hours to reply, or we'll keep selecting one until one of you replies. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.